Hey guys, Dr. Davin Lim, board certified laser dermatologist. Um, look, sorry, I apologize for today's video. It's gonna be a really short one. Um, it may be boring, but I think it really forms the foundation of what we do. Uh, whether we're treating pigmentation, rosacea, wrinkles, um, or skin rejuvenation of any sort, the foundation of everything we do is basically not only to rejuvenate, restore, repair, but also protect. And the most important thing, the basis of everything is this sunscreen. So today's video would be on sunscreen and how to pick a sunscreen for you and what it means. So it's a, I think it's a very important video. The reason why I'm doing this video, I'll tell you why. Is, uh, my uh, four-year-old daughter's sick and she's given me the flu, so I've been recovering over the last four or five days. So today's a very quick video on something which I think is basic but very important to understand. So guys, um, listen to this quick explanation of uh, what I think is super important to understand. So what do you look for in the sunscreen? Basically there's two factors. You're looking at your SPF, which is basically a factor of burning. SPF basically is this. If an SPF factor of two, uh, basically means you've got double the time in the sun. For example, if I were to burn in half an hour and I wear an SPF factor of two, um, I burn in one hour. So the graph goes like this. SPF two, basically 50%, SPF 4, 75%. If you go up to an SPF of 30, you're at 93%. SPF of 50, uh, you're only hovering at around 97%. Um, SPF of um, 50, you're around 98%. And SPF of 100, you're at 99%. So the big marketing ploy is between the 30 and the 100, or the 30 and the 50, because just by going up that big factor, you're only incrementally gaining a 2 to 3 percent advantage of um, sun protection, which in the scheme of things means uh, zilch. So don't be, don't be ployed by the, don't be fooled by the marketing ploy that, hey, the higher the SPF factor, the better it is, because it plateaus at around 30, with, so you can see with this graph I'm about to show you, it plateaus at around 30. Anything higher than that, basically you're paying for um, sun factors that which you don't need or sun protection which you don't need. The second most important thing which they don't tell you at all is um, what's not marketed on any of these brands which is the most important which is your UVA protection. UVA um, as we know penetrates your skin deeper than UVB. Both of them cause cellular damage and skin aging but UVA hits the collagen. So remember what, what, what we were looking for for sunscreen basically two things. Number one skin cancer prevention, but number two, anti-aging properties as well. So the UVA factor is very, very important. In that, you've got to look, my friends, in the labeling. So in the labeling and not actually in the factor, because in Australia, at least, there is no regulation in regards to UVA protection and how it's mentioned. So you've got to look for the products. And the products in it are either avobenzone, titanium dioxide, zinc oxide, or I have to look at this one. So it's called methoxy di um, benzyl methane. So I actually did a paper on that 15 years ago and I still can't pronounce it. But anyway, sounds like it comes from a cow, but it's not. It's actually uh, marketed as Merxil XL um, years ago by a company known as La Roche Posay. And now it's um, also sold in um, Cetaphil and other really cheap but super good um, sunscreens that are now available in Australia 13 years after it's been released in Europe. Um, so that's reality guys, it takes Australia, um, I'm not joking, 10 years, we're 10 years behind um, European standards for um, sunscreen. So um, my paper on, on, on that was, yeah, I think look it up, 2001. So what's that now? Um, 16 years, yeah, 15, 16, yeah, 16 years since my paper on that. But, Anyway, so um, there you have it guys. That's what you should, look, you should look for in the sunscreen. Now there are other important factors in regards to sunscreen and that's how cosmetically elegant they are. If you're using a really thick sunscreen, uh, one which gives, makes you look white for example, you're not going to use it. So you've got to use what's known as a cosmetically elegant sunscreen. So they're different um, horses for different courses. 
I particularly like um, the ranch from La Roche Posay. No, I don't get sponsored by LRP. I wish I did, but I don't. I actually go buy the sunscreen myself. Um, I buy a factor SPF 15 because I am ethnic, so I only need an SPF of 93% um, and not higher because I just don't get burnt. I'm looking at a long wave UVA protection. So I buy one with um, UVA protection. Um, so a tinted one like this is really nice because it's cosmetically elegant. In other words, it's nice to put on. Um, it dissolves in your skin really, really nicely. And if you're gonna use something that um, is basically goes on easy, and you don't have that white sheen, uh, chances are you're gonna use it at least twice a day. So that's the first thing, okay, is find something which is cosmetically elegant. Uh, and once again, what cosmetically elegant means is uh, what you like. So there is no right or wrong. I'm just giving you the evidence out there um, and the products to choose from of which there are hundreds. So don't be fooled into actually saying, look, you know, um, uh, a $70 or $80 sunscreen is better than a um, $20 sunscreen. Um, look at the uh, key ingredients of the sunscreen uh, and most importantly the UVA protection. Second thing is that you always should have two sunscreens. If you are out and about like I am at the weekend, especially with the beach, going to the beach and um, doing activities where you sweat a lot, you need a high factor SPF. But not only that, um, you need something that actually sticks on. So unfortunately for those kinds of sunscreens, when it's going to be waterproof, it's going to be cosmetically inelegant. In other words, you're going to be looking white. But look, that's the only way it's going to stick on. You're not going to have a cosmetically elegant sunscreen that's light, um, go out on the surf and expect that to stay. It won't. So you need something like um, zinc, uh, actual zinc, 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 or zinc oxide. Um, that's the best kind of sunscreen. So guys, look, it's a really quick tip, um, and I think it forms the basis of what I do as a dermatologist, because yes, it's good to um, laser people, uh, correct their wrinkles, um, change features, give them nice skin, remove pigmentation, treat rosacea, um, but at the same time, the basis of everything we do is that, sun protection, because remember, we can't change intrinsic aging, or aging from within ourselves, what we can change is environmental, and that's the only thing we can change. Uh, guys, I hope you like this um, short video. Uh, I usually do more, I guess, entertaining, more informative videos, but it's a very short one today. I apologize for that, but um, I'll see you next week. Uh, once again, subscribe if you like this. One new video every Saturday morning, Saturday morning Brisbane time, uh, and I'll see you next week. Bye.